Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. Treasury and IRS proposed regulations identifying syndicated conservation easement transactions as abusive tax transactions. Honestly, the term abusive tax transactions is a little strange, isn't it? I mean, I'm not saying we shouldn't stop tax fraud or anything, but phrasing it as if you're the one abusing taxes is a little funny. I mean, I, I thought I thought the taxes were abusing me. Abusive tax transact. I mean, that's like Amber Heard charging Johnny Depp with abusive spousal treatment while he staggers around looking for his missing finger. When in actuality, the noble pirate sacrificed his finger in order to prevent the half-full vodka bottle from exploding as it flew through the air and hit the counter. Because, like, if the last vodka bottle exploded... They would have both had to resort to spilling Red Bull in the same place on the floor so they could both get on all fours and like suck the vodka Red Bull directly out of the rug. Which isn't at all dignified behavior, even for a pirate. Although it might give the carpet a nice, you know, disinfected shine to it. And Anyways, abusive tax transaction. It's, it's a silly phrase. I mean, maybe taxes are more like the club used by the government to abuse. So, like, saying that you're the one abusing the taxes is like saying you abuse, like, the hickory stick you used to wrap your knuckles by your fifth grade teacher because you couldn't spell the word sugar correctly. How dare you deny the hickory stick a piece of your hide? That's, that's hickory stick abuse, dang it. It's like, no, have mercy. I just don't understand why sugar doesn't start with an SH. Anyways... First a joke. Honestly, Mother Earth is a large lady. Excuse me, but am I invisible? Possibly from Pluto. <laughs> but for some reason, living off the fat of the land is still difficult. You know, I think it's because we live on the face of Mother Earth. I can't eat that crap. And therefore, we're trying to like sustain ourselves by eating Mother Earth's face fat. And so, uh, Miss, uh... <laughs> Blaub. <laughs> and, I mean, it's difficult to get by eating just face fat, you know? As I was saying, I I'm just not going to take anything, unlike you at a buffet. I mean, the, the face doesn't have much fat on it, even with really large people. <laughs> so, um, uh, what do you have for me? Some men in speed stick in my desk. <laughs> even strange carnivores like the liver king don't eat much face fat, like I don't think. I challenge you to watch The Liver King without feeling the urge to vomit. I can only imagine that in heaven, God will reveal Mother Earth's thigh for us to live on. So we could like move from Mother Earth's face to like her thigh. Can, I mean, can you believe that? I mean, how easy would it be to live off the fat of Mother Earth's thigh after trying to scrape by a living on just Mother Earth's face fat? Can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, we're just gonna be like kicking it on Mother Earth's thigh like, wow, look at those poor fools stomping around on Mother Earth's face, trying to live off face fat. This is great! And yes, I know, once we move to Mother Earth's thigh, it's like, wow, I can't wait until we can move up to Mother Earth's left breast. But, in any case, I'll stop there. IR 2022-214, December 6, 2022, Washington. The Treasury Department and Internal Revenue Service today issued proposed regulations. There's a link to that here. Identifying certain syndicated conservation easement, SCE, transactions as, quote, listed transactions, end quote, abusive tax transactions that must be reported to the IRS. So the IRS has basically been building their case and giving kind of warnings related to the syndicated conservation easement transactions. Let me just give my overall kind of thought process in terms of some of these areas that might be kind of like in the gray area of the tax law. Clearly, when you look at the tax law, we, we note and we've stated in prior uh, presentations, in prior news articles from the IRS, we're only required to pay the taxes that we're required to pay under the tax law. Some things under the tax law are pretty clear. They're black and white. Other things, there's gray areas. So you might say, okay, I don't know exactly what to do because the tax law is not addressing this particular thing exactly. And then that's where some people could get try to get more aggressive in terms of their stance. 
And those are usually the areas where the IRS is going to push back because now you are interpreting the tax law one way. The IRS, you can, you can assume, will, will interpret the tax law another way, in a more strict way. And then it'll go to tax court oftentimes. And if there's not something that's addressed directly in the law, then it's going to be ironed out in, in, in like a series of court cases, right? Because that's going to be precedent. So the law is going to be the major precedent. And then, and then if something's in the gray area, then you build a record possibly of court cases and so on and so forth. And so on those kind of areas, then when the IRS is trying to build their case, they're going to be saying, hey, look, we're going after these particular things that we think are abusive, a misinterpretation of the law. And if they're winning on their court cases and whatnot, then their position becomes stronger and stronger. And, 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 that's, and that's how you might want to kind of think about it. So now the, the IRS is basically, it seems to me saying, hey, look, we have a strong case on these, these types of transactions. And we're looking at, not only are we looking into them, but we think that we can prosecute on them. We think that we can execute and win, you know, the case. And as their case gets stronger, the more and more they have the leeway to do that. Now, as that happens, then of course, the IRS would like to encourage people to voluntarily uh, uh, say what they've been doing in those cases and amend their return or make any changes that they need to do. And that makes sense because the IRS is trying to get people to comply with the tax code. So now they're saying if you're involved in these kind of things, which we are now saying have been abusive, we've interpreted them to be that. And so we think we have a strong case. We want you to self-report that fact and we won't you won't get possibly as much as harsh a penalty would be the general idea. So that seems that's my interpretation of what kind of is going on here. So so in these transactions, investors typically acquire an interest in a partnership that owns land and then claim an inflated charitable contribution deduction based on a grossly overvalued appraisal when the partnership donates a conservation easement on the land. So notice that this whole thing kind of depends to some degree on, you know, you got a charitable donation. It seems that does of course seem a little shady to take this large bloated charitable donation based on an estimate. And we know that estimates that are appraised on land, one of the problems with land buildings and whatnot is that they're hard to know what the value is over time. Appraisals can, can vary greatly because land is unique in nature. So now that's that, that ambiguity can lead people, that's what's kind of, you know, that's kind of the leading factor of how this abuse can, can move forward. So the IRS previously identified certain SCE transactions as listed transactions in notice uh, 2017-10. There's a link to that here. Recent court decisions in the Sixth Circuit and the U.S. Tax Court rule that the IRS lacks the authority to identify listed transactions by notices such as notice 2017-10. Uh, or 2017 10 and must instead identify such transactions by following the notice and public comment uh, procedure that apply to regulations. Treasury and the IRS disagree with these decisions. So there's a link to that here. So if you've been following the court cases, you might you might have saw that and said, wow, that it looks like the IRS is losing on that particular place. And now the IRS is is not done. They're, they're saying, hey, we're still going to we're still fighting on this this particular issue. So the Treasury and the IRS dis disagree with this decision. There's a link to that here and continue to, to defend uh, notice uh, 2017-10 and similar notices and litigation uh, except in the Sixth Circuit. So at the same time, however, Treasury and IRS issued the proposed regulations to eliminate any conservation uh, regarding the need to report these transactions and to ensure that these decisions do not disrupt the IRS's ongoing efforts to combat abusive tax shelters throughout the nation. Treasury and the IRS intend to finalize these proposed regulations after due consideration of public comments in uh, 2023 and intend to issue proposed regulations identifying additional listed transactions in the near future. So it's going to be interesting what happens with that. So now they're going back and forth and the IRS is, is not uh, giving up on their case and they're telling us so. So, you know, we'll have to say. So you might want to get advice, at least if you're in a situation where you where you where you think this might be applying you and, and make sure that you have a a reasoned decision-making process in whatever tax position 
that is uh, that you're taking. 